All right. Praise. Hold on, hold that real quick. Yeah? Got it? Okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. We welcome you here into the gathering place, D.C. That sounds so good. And we honor God for this shift in our church and our ministry. And we honor God for you being here with us today. Amen. I am Shayla. And I'm Andrew Woodson. And we are happy to welcome you all on this Sunday. It is a new month. It's a new day. It's another Sunday here at here at the Gathering Place DC. We are excited, you guys, and we are honored that you have decided to worship with us today here at TGP DC. Um, before we even dive into this pre show, we want you to share this live. Share this live with your whole community. Share this live with someone who you know needs to hear something from the Lord today. We are excited as to what God is going to do in this house. It's first Sunday. And so we're going to acknowledge, honor, give praise, glory, and worship to what this Sunday means to us each and every month. God is a good God, and he's kept us from last first Sunday to this first Sunday. And we're just going to go up in the Lord. You all, listen, we have phenomenal things going on this month. You do not want to miss out. There is Ancient Oil 2024 coming in store. Family, please make sure that you are staying connected. We have several, several things in store for you all. Please, wherever you're at, make sure that you're connected, staying engaged, wherever you're at. You're at your job, you're in the car. Create a space, an atmosphere of worship as we dive in on this to this service today, what God is getting ready to do. Family, we're excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? I am excited. It's going to be a time. It's going to be a God thing. Not just a good thing, but a God thing. So wherever you're at, Please, please feel free to worship, express yourself, do what God is leading you to do in that moment. Amen. And that's all that we have for you all. Again, grab your communion elements if you have them. Um, we're just going to go up in the Lord today. So let's go into the house. We'll see you soon. Amen. Sunday as the gathering place. Are y'all excited? Oh, I'm excited because this is the place where everyone can experience the glory of God. And when I tell you we will experience the glory of God today, I'm excited. I want to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the gathering place, Washington, D.C. Do we have any first time guests? If we have any first time guests, please take this opportunity to stand up so we can see who you are and love on you and hug you and let you know, look, I guess everybody's home today. All right, yes. Well, since everybody is home, we do want to take this opportunity for everybody to please stand, hug your neighbor, tell them that it's good to see them and just fellowship with each other. opportunity to share with you this week's updates and announcements. So if you are selling a, celebrating a birthday in the month of April, we would like, to, all right, all right, birthdays. We want to take this opportunity to wish you a very, very happy birthday. If you're celebrating an anniversary, then happy anniversary and all the things. 
At this time, we encourage each and every one of you to take a look at the screen because we have a video announcement for you. that you just saw are the champions of the gathering place. Come on and give it up to the champions. So at this time, if you are 50 and over, can you just wave your hands for me? All right, come on 50 and over. Yes. So this afternoon following service, we are having a chat and chew just for you, just for the champions. So to register, please scan the QR code that's gonna be on the screen and it will also um, be right upstairs in the fellowship hall today, the chat and choose. So if you're 50 and over, make sure you come in fellowship with the champions today. We will have an intercessory prayer call on this Tuesday at 6 a.m. on Zoom. If you are not a partner and would like to join us, simply send 6 a.m. prayer to prayer at allnationsdc.com. Y'all, do y'all know what this week is? Oil 2024. We are excited. We have been looking forward to it. And y'all, talking about experiencing the glory of God, the glory of God is going to be here and rest, rule, and abide with us this week for Ancient Oil. So please, if you have not registered, it's not too late. So please get your general admission tickets right now. You can go online. Um, there should be a QR code. If not, then you can go to the website and you'll see all the speakers and the tickets are still available for all of our daytime virtual sessions. The nighttime sessions at 7 p.m. are free. So we want to see each and every one of you at Ancient Oil 2024. Worship and Word will be in the Fellowship Hall on April 18th at 7 p.m. On April 21st, we will have our baby dedication. So if your child has not been dedicated, we encourage you to sign your child up by scanning the QR code on the screen. Our education department presents Methods for Studying the Bible. This course will start on May 1st, and to register, please scan the QR code on the screen. Pentecost Sunday! We're excited about Pentecost. It is on May 19th, and we're going to also have baptism on that day. So you can sign up for baptism by using the QR code on the screen. Family, we want to be sure that you know that our ways of giving have changed. We encourage you to take a look at the screen and govern yourselves accordingly. You will have time to give during our normal offering times well. Young Adult Bible Study will be every fourth Friday, and we encourage all young adults to come in and be a part. And when you come, also bring a friend with you. For more information on any and all of our events, please check your emails for the Gathering Guide and our social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook. So at this time, would you all please stand as we join to sing our hymn, Down at the Cross.
somebody tell him glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood of God. Glory to. Can we give it up for God? Can we just begin to intercede? Can we just open our hearts to the Lord? God, we thank you so much, oh God. God, this is the first time that the gathering place has been unleashed, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus that your glory fall in this place, oh God. I pray, Father, that things that has never been before seen will happen here now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray right now, Lord, that you build us up to be the giants in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, we're called to be the giants. We're called to be the giants in the land. Oh, God, I pray right now, Lord, that you give us the strength to carry this burden. Give us the strength, oh, God, to carry the weight of your people. Father, glory fall in this place. Yes, Lord, glory fall, 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 glory fall. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, I break down fear. I break down doubt. In the name of Jesus, anything that's been holding us back. Lord God, we will be the prophets. We will be the intercessors. We will be the glory carriers. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, break. Break everything unlike you. Break every wall. Break every distraction. Break every devil that tries to get in the way of the glory. Hallelujah. Break every devil. There's no devil in hell that can stop the vision of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory fall. Glory fall. Glory fall. Glory fall. Fall in this place. May the presence of the Lord fall on us now in the name of Jesus. God, we want to be the giants. We're called to be the giants. Lift us up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, open the gathering place where everyone can experience the glory of God. May they leave rejected and feel whole. May they leave disappointed and leave whole. In the name of Jesus, may they come diminished, oh God. But you bring your glory and you let it fall, Father. I pray that the unloved will come and be loved. I pray that the rejected come and fill a part of a place in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we are a part of your kingdom. We are a part of the place of the Lord. And we are welcomed. We are welcomed. We are welcomed. We are welcomed. The righteous run in and they are safe. The righteous run in and they are safe. Hallelujah. The righteous run in and they are safe. Glory. you Yahweh. We worship you Adonai. We worship you Elohim. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. And we say fire fall. And we say fire fall. Fire fall. Fire fall. Fire fall. God we worship you. There's no one like you. And there's no one beside you. We worship the God that reigns over the earth. We worship the Lord that walks over the earth. We worship the Lord that comes and cancels demons. We worship the Lord that comes and binds distraction. We worship the Lord. God, I pray that this worship experience be like no other. I pray, God, that every word that goes forth will go up to the heavens and make the door, make the door swing open. Make the door swing open. Make the door swing open. The favor is open the gathering place. May the door swing open. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, gather in place. Put those hands together. Come on. Come on, let me 
for it. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. That great name. Can we sing that one voice? We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will For a time now, say we will praise. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. That great name. One more time, say we will praise. We will praise the name of Jesus. Come on, gather in place. We will praise the name of Jesus. Come on, worshipers, and we will praise. Whoa! Okay, hold on, keep that going, keep that going, hold on. I just want to get a pulse of the room. I want to see what kind of room this is, what kind of worshipers we are, what kind of sons and daughters we are. Okay, so scenario, scenario. There's a death in the family. Scenario, you have a bill you can't pay. Scenario, might have been a car accident, but you're okay. Scenario, your children are going off to school. Something happened at school, you can't get to them. Scenario, something's out of your control. What will your response be? What will your response be? Come on, come on. See, we will praise. We will praise the Your lights came off, went off. Scenario, somebody looked at you wrong. Scenario, you lost a friend. Scenario, life happened. But we will praise the name of... Come on, your response. What is your response? Hold it. Scenario, you get laid off on your job. 
scenario, somebody walked out on you again, again. What is your response? Come on, say we will pray. We will praise the Your goodness Jesus. never changes. Your goodness never changes. to honor you. We cast down, we cast down our crowns, humble ourselves. Oh. We bow down just to honor you. We cast down our Let's 
Cast down our crowns. Cast down our crowns to you. Before you. Cast down our crowns before you. We humble ourselves before you. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. I hear the Lord say that even in this, the spirit of worship and the atmosphere of worship, I hear the Lord saying that as you cast down your crown before him, <clears throat> that as we cast down um, whatever makes us righteous, yep, whatever makes us big, um, I hear the Lord saying that as you cast that down, that is a sign of humility. Okay? And as we humble ourselves in his presence like this, I heard him say that the bigger the crown, the bigger the thing I will do. Whatever you're laying down, that crown can also be worry. When you, when you become weak, not, you are not weak. You are strong. But when you become weak, when you offer your strength to him, he gives you his. And it is that strength that allows you to praise right in the middle of rain. We cast down our crowns and we humble ourselves. We 
This is your moment, it's yours, we honor you. Yes, Lord. From the rising of the sun, you're worthy. To the setting of the same, you're worthy. From age to age, for the rest of my days, you are worthy to be praised. So we cry, worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. Worthy, worthy.
Can we take it to church this time? Can you clap your hands like this? Come on, say worthy now. Oh, A 
All I can say is thank you. Hey, hey, hey. All I can say is thank you. All I can say is thank you. Somebody laid down last night. The old saints would say, but if you called them this morning, their tongue would be clutched to the roof of their mouth. But I got breath in my body, thank you. Somebody locked their dogs last night and went to sleep. And they woke up to an alarm. But it didn't allow nobody to break into your home. All I can say is thank you. Some of you took your key and you locked your door today. But just like the folk in the song, your, your residence was, was not under a bridge. It was not in a cardboard box. It wasn't next to a dumpster. I tell you, open up your mouth and say thank you. I know, I know, I know the economy is down and food prices are up and gas seems like it's just keep rising. But you're not hungry yet. And you're not homeless yet. And you've not been evicted. I tell you, tell God thank you. I tell you, tell God thank you. Yes, I love God. Yes, I love God. Yes, I love God. Yes, I love God. I'm looking for the thankful people. I said, I'm looking for the thankful people. Old church said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I said, the whole church said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. I said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Some of you were the enemy. You were the enemy. But I said, let the redeemed of the Lord. Let the blood wash say so. Let the blood wash say so. Let the sanctified say so. Listen, have your seats. I'm over my time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I get happy every time I think about the redeemed. Because I know where I once was, Toya. I remember when I was not redeemed. Hey, 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 hey. Pastor JJ. Pastor JJ put up a post the other day. He said it's bounce back season. Some of you are in the bounce back. I know what I once was, but I'm bouncing back. I'm on my show. in the house I'm sorry I'm sorry but I'm not sorry but I really would want us to all just do it together just this one time I know I know I'm supposed to be up here doing off the, the communion I'm sorry can, one minute just one minute I want everybody to stand up whether you feel like you got a praise or you don't got no praise whether you feel like you got rhythm or you don't got no rhythm just Twinkie Twinkie clock said do what works for me just do what works for me Grab, grab your neighbor by the hand. Come, come in, Jermaine. 
be my partner. Be my partner. I want you to link up with somebody. And you don't got to do nothing fancy. But while you're doing whatever you do, I just want you to say thank you, okay? That's what I want you to do. On the crown of three, I want you to grab your neighbor and just say thank you. Here we go, ready? Here we go, man. One, two, three, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Cut your word. We thank you. Cut your good. We thank you. Cut your job. We thank you. Cut your righteous. We thank you. Cut your faithful. Cut your honest. I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I hope you didn't miss that. That was the bounce back for some of you. That was, it was the bounce back for some of you. Justin, some of them are going to be able to go to sleep tonight because you're going to understand the power of our bounce back season. You're going to be able to face a few. Come on, run, son, run. Run. You don't know what it means to some people. We ain't just taking up space. This is the gathering place. It's the place where everybody can experience the blood. Run, children, run. You better run out of it and run into a new season. It's called Bounce Back. It's the season of the Bounce Back. Come on, join the best shit. Go wild with it. You got to become undignified. I wish I had an undignified folk. Give up an undignified praise. If you don't know how to do it, just grab the back of your pew and just go to... 
something's happening. Hey, hey, hey. Glory to God. Glory. 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 Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Y'all praise him. Y'all praise him. Y'all praise him. I'm telling you he's here. I'm telling you he's here. Elton Nicole, there's an expectation of revival. My God, yes. Pastor JJ there's an expectation of revival in the camp. Good God today. My Lord, yes. I'm so over my time, but I'm telling you that the Lord is ready. He's ready for a people. Sheesh. He's ready for a people that's ready to be deposited into. I know you're out there on YouTube and you're watching us on Facebook and all today. You're going to hear us continue to say that this is the gathering place. That word didn't come for just pomp and circumstance. But the Lord is singing in a harvest of people. And I don't care where you are or what you look like. Uh, this is a place where you can experience the true and unadulterated glory of God. It's a place where everybody can experience it. Uh, I don't care what your background is. Uh, I don't care where you laid your head down last night and where you found it waking up today. This is a place, 4703 Marlboro Pike in Capitol Heights, Maryland. We are building an altar here. I didn't hear nobody right there. I said, we're building an altar. We have erected by the leading of the Lord through our senior shepherds, a gathering place for you. We do this because the Lord did it for us. And so that you can see that there is a people who was once touched by the world, but the Lord has redeemed us. We had an experience with God, and not all of us had the same experience. Do I got a witness? But we experienced the presence of the Lord, and we made a declaration that we'd never go back again. We may fall, but we're going to bounce back. Glory to God. Hey, thanks be to God for grace, because some of us might turn around, but thank God that he bounced us back again. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of God. We thank you, Jesus. Listen. I'm Pastor Michael, and I'm before you today to celebrate the Lord's Supper. And this is such a precious, a precious moment. And if you have your communion elements, I'm just going to give you three seconds to gather yourselves. Even for you who are at home, you are viewing us on Facebook. You're viewing us on YouTube, whatever your social media is, if you are with us, I want you to go run to your kitchen and get some elements, get you a cracker, toast up a piece of bread or a muffin real quick, do something, get you some grape juice, if you don't got grape juice, get cranberry, you don't have cranberry, get apple, I don't know what they drink, I don't know. Get you some wine and just get a sip. Don't take the whole glass. Just, just enough to take you a piece, of, a piece of bread. I want you to pray over it and sanctify it. It's serious. I don't listen. You don't have to have communion just on first Sunday. It can be Tuesday. You sitting at your desk and you feel the presence of the Lord and you feel like I need to be closer to God. Get you run down to the vending machine and get you a cheese cracker and peel that top layer off. Huh? 
and run to the cafeteria and get you some grape juice or cranberry and you can have and have a whole communion service play you a hymn take your elements the bible said after they took it they walked out to the garden you don't got a garden go to the food court go down go to the courtyard or take a walk outside come on if you have your elements would you signify by standing with me we want to hollow this moment. I'm a funny person, but I take these sacred things very serious. I know you danced. There'll be an opportunity later. But my grandmother taught me, Pastor JJ, she said if you, she taught us like the Bible taught, she was a King James girl. If you take this unworthy, the scriptures say that you'll do damnation to your soul. You may not go to hell, but you might suffer while you walk this earth. And you don't want to, you don't want that to be your portion because God's wrath is very different than your attitude. It's very, very different. And you don't want that damnation to go down to your third and fourth generation. You don't want your great nieces or your great grandchildren that you may never meet to suffer because you stood on 4703's ground and you took communion unworthy. You were sitting in your house if you're watching us and you knew that you should not have taken communion. You knew that you had an ought against your brother or your sister. You hadn't got it right. But you wanted to save face so you took it so the nosy folks around you wouldn't say, why are you not taking communion? You see, they didn't take communion. They didn't have no elements this Sunday. I wonder what's going on. Ain't none of your business. That little girl on Instagram said, what about yourself? But I want you to take a moment. Dom and the band, I want y'all to stop playing. I want you to take a moment and look into yourself. And if there's something that separates you from the Lord, I want you to take a moment to get it right. Come on, take that moment. This time is yours. Scripture says that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the cracker, took the body, and he broke it. And he passed it to the disciples, and he said, this is my body. Take and eat. Eat. Thank you, Jesus. The scripture goes on to say that in like manner, he took the cup said this was the cup of the new covenant. He said, as often as you do this, you show my death, my burial, and my resurrection. He said, take and drink. Let's drink together. Thank you, Jesus. Somewhere in there, he said, as often as you do this, as long as you do it, you'll have a part of him. I'm thankful to God that I've got my portion of him on today. How about you? God bless you. You can take your elements and you can pass it to the end of your row to the, the outside aisles or the center aisles and someone from the experience team will be there to serve you. Our senior pastor, Trina Harrison, is coming. Would you greet her by the clapping of your hands? God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. Can y'all hear me? Okay. I can't hear myself, but uh, you may be seated. I'm, I'm not going to um, belabor the time. Pastor JJ already gave me that look. That look says, all right now. <laughs> all right. Appreciate your praise, but all right. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to push. I do feel in my spirit that as some of you were rejoicing, I don't know, I just kept on hearing the word generations. And I just believe that um, even some of your praise was um, for generations in the future, not even yourself. I believe that. I believe that somebody's praising God for a father who did not. And somebody's praising God for a mother who did not. And somebody's praising God for a child who has not yet found the way. 
but you got to believe that God knows how to interpret your praise. And everything we do, it's not for naught. It's really not. All this, some people say it don't take all of that. Yes, it do. It take all of this and some more. If we had time, I would sit and praise God all day long because he's worthy of it. And I know that my praise is a deposit into my future. So I thank God that what I put down now is just a down payment for what he's doing for me. Somewhere along the way, my praise is going to reverberate back. Oh my shay, I know. <laughs> it's kind of bouncy like that. It bounces from generation to generation and from age to age. Oh my shay, I thank you. Children and my grandchildren. I praise the God that the same God today that delivers me is the same God that they're gonna one day lift their praise to. Oh, thank you for generation to generation from age to age. He's the same God. Same God. Same God. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. What am I showing you? Thank you that we got a dependable Savior. He's not going to change on you. <laughs> He's not going to change. He's the same God. And his word is still true. Yay! Thank you, Masha. What he did on Calvary's cross a long time ago is still fresh. Tell your neighbor it's still fresh. His mercy is still fresh. His grace is still fresh.
to be obedient to what God is saying. And I, um, I, I think we should get used to unusual things happening. And I want us to all be on one accord. So I don't know what this line around here going was, but I, I, I want even more people to join it because something was happening in the atmosphere. Come on, Brittany, you lead us out. Brittany is one of our dance. That's right, get the flags. Kiera, grab a flag, something, grab something. And whatever you have in your hand, whoever, I don't know if you got a towel or you got something. Let's wab and I. Yes, God. Unusual blessings, unusual miracles, unusual happenings in the name of Jesus. Unusual blessings, unusual miracles, unusual happenings in the name of Jesus. Unusual blessings, unusual miracles, unusual happenings in the name of Jesus. Unusual blessings, unusual miracles, unusual happenings in the name of Jesus. Unusual blessings, unusual miracles, unusual happenings in the name of Jesus. Unusual blessings, yeah. unusual happenings, yeah. unusual miracles yeah. in the name of Jesus. In the name of name of Jesus, in the name of name of Jesus, in the name of name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, yeah, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. You need something broken over your life this week. I dare you to join the line. Yeah, it's a prophetic act. It's saying things are breaking in the atmosphere. I am no longer bound by sickness. I am no longer bound by disease. I am no longer bound by depression. It's broken.
right now and I'm trying to be obedient um, I, I stopped giving because I was looking for something in return only mature saints can handle that I started giving because I honor God I don't know if you got that we need to give because we honor God and don't worry about the rest. I was listening to a teaching about kings. And the teaching was talking about the culture of kings. And the culture of kings is that, and if you live in a country that has a king or something like that, and you were granted access to the king, you would have to bring a gift to the king. Now, your gift may be great. Your gift may be small but your gift says how much you think about the king. So if you just give God or you just give the king any old thing, that means that he's just any old body. But when you give, that shows that, you know what? I really, really honor who I'm talking about. I really honor the head of my life. Then you give out of that. You give with that mentality and 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 with that credence, without with that much heaviness on it. Because honor to honor somebody is to have a heavy weight of of, of esteem, esteem for them. Anything that you honor, you just don't allow to just go to any old thing. Any, any piece of your money that you honor and that you know belongs to God, you don't give that to Fashion Nova. I know, because I, I, hit, I hit my click, I clicked a couple of times. But I made sure that I gave to God first. Because we have to give to the king first. All right? And so when in the king's culture or in the culture that honors kings, it is automatic that when the king gives back, he's going to give you more than what you gave to him. Because kings have this kind of like thing. It's like, I'm better than you and I'm better. Now, I'm not talking about God. I'm talking about in kings, in a natural world, kings. They always have this thing that I'm a greater king. I'm a greater king. So when you give a gift to the king, they want to return it in greater amount. And I'm not saying that our God has that kind of mentality, but our king of kings, he always is going to give greater than what you gave him. 
So that's why I'm not even worried about what's coming in return. I give because I honor the one that I'm giving to. And as an automatic, he's automatically going to give back to me over. That's not even, that's, that's without question. But I have to make sure that my gift is weighty enough to give and to prove my love for him. I hope you understood that. We need to go into a better teaching about, about giving. Do y'all know that there's a difference between tithes and offering? How many people know? How many people honest and say, I didn't know. I thought once you gave, you just gave. Right, do this for me. Everybody close your eyes. I want everybody to close your eyes. This is only from, from my and God's information only. All right? I, I want everybody to close your eyes because I don't want nobody to be nosy and try to see who's going to raise their hand. So kind of move away from your neighbor so they can't feel your hand go up. Say, so give me some room. This is private time. I want to know how many people actually struggle with giving their tithes. Thank you for your honesty. Put your hand down. How many people struggle with giving altogether? You struggle with it. You've heard bad stories in church. You don't understand where the money is going, and you struggle with it. Thank you for your honesty. Put your hands down. All right, everyone, open your eyes. I want you to understand that the blessings of the Lord come through your obedience. And it was God that asked for the tithe. God said to tithe. This was a law that was written in the Old Testament, continued on to the New Testament. We're not making this up. And what, if we really want to be real, what I really want you to know is you ain't got to worry about me and pass. Thank God my husband has wrote some amazing songs. He's an amazing writer. You know how I know he's amazing? Because that takes care of me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say all that to say, you ain't got to worry about your tithe being misappropriated and going to the pastors. You don't have to worry about that. But I want you to know that your tithes will pay for the outreach things that we do. Your tithes help financially support all the ministry things that we do, the services, the things that we have um, to invite community in and invite, invite people in. That is the things that your tithes and your offerings go to. Amen? And you should clap for that. You should. Because a lot of people are in here because somebody on the outreach team reached out to them. Some program or something they had. And many, there's more coming. Remember I had y'all pray and we was praying to the people in the balcony? I want you to know it's true because you saw here on Easter Sunday morning, you saw how it was people in the balcony. We had already called out their name way back when. We were already praying and I'm praying for them to come back again too. But I, let, me, let me not get off track because you know I will, I, will go, I will go down some rabbit holes. But I want you to know that uh, this, is, this is what we call fertile ground. This is good ground to sow your seed into. And so I just gave you two reasons that you really ought to give. You cannot, there's more, but you cannot afford not to give because your blessing is in your obedience, not to us, but obedience to God. This is God's word. It, and like I said, we're going to do more teaching on it so that you understand. But this is God. This is God's word. There's more in it for you than there is in it for us. And that's why I want you to give because God, this is setting you up. It's something about the first fruits. I wish I had time to reteach it. But it's something about the first fruits. The first fruit principle is it sets up for what's to come. When you give God what is due his first, what you're saying is, God, I'm giving this to you, but I know that in essence, what I'm doing is putting a blessing on what is to come into my life. All right, I'll teach it later because y'all, yeah, you, you, okay, that's fair. You can get it. All right, we'll teach it. That gives me an area to lean into in teaching. You have to learn how to give God what's due him first. Amen. All right, I don't want to bore you, and my time is far spent. Let's put the given decree on there. As you're getting ready to sow your seed, um, I want to just, by way of announcement, just, you know, just throw it out there that um, Ancient Oil starts this week. It, it starts this week, and I am so excited. You know, I, I want to take a minute just to say thank you all. I could not do this without the gathering place. I could not. Thank you for supporting me in these endeavors. You don't have to, but thank God you do. And um, it's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. 
Um, I don't know, she never, I can't, I guess we can't make a full announcement because I don't know everything that's in it, but Pastor JJ is putting his hand to it again and there's going to be some surprises and you don't want to miss it. I promise you, Wednesday night, you want to be here. There's surprises happening. There's surprises happening all throughout the week and I want to encourage you to register, um, come to the evening service, but then I want, also want to encourage you to be here during the day. I strategically planned for there to be just as powerful speakers in the daytime as there is in the evening time. And the reason why I do this is because I'm not gonna ask you to pay $100 and I come here and we ain't got nothing to say. Uh, so I wanna give you, I want your plate to be full for this all you can eat for $100. I want your plate to be full and trust me, you are going to be full every day and every night God has given me connection with some of the most powerful speakers across this world. And I don't take it for granted. I believe it's so that I can give it back to you so that you can be a recipient of what they have to say in the name of the Lord. Amen. All right. So I'm not going to go through the list. I know you know by now who's coming, but let's, let's stand on our feet. Let's change to the giving decree. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is amazing. He's amazing. All right, now y'all know when I say this different giving decree, you got to say it with your chest. You, 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 you can't say it like you don't know and like you don't mean what you're saying. You really got to say it and say it strong. All right? All right, let's go. According to the word of God, I declare that money cometh to the body of Christ and money cometh to me for the sake of the gospel. I call my church... I call in all the necessary finances to completely pay for all the buildings, the properties, and to do everything that God has called us as a church to do. We will help reach the lost and the hurting, help the believers walk in faith and victory by the preaching of the... I call myself debt free. I proclaim that I have the necessary finances to do everything that God has called me to do with enough in store to bless others. Father, I put my weight on it. I honor you by putting you first in my finances, giving my best in tithes and offering. You are bringing me into my wealthy place. I call my house and all my property. You will be paid in full believe that I receive raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, discounts and dividends, checks in the mail, gifts and good surprises, lost money found, bills decreased and paid off, blessings and increase. Thank you for meeting all of my financial needs so that I have more than enough to give into your kingdom. Money coming to me now. You have an assignment. You are bringing me into my wealthy place. Father, I thank you for every seed and every sower. I thank you for every obedient heart, oh God, that wants to honor you. God, I thank you because we put you first in all things, even in our giving. And you said, oh God, that you would never forsake us nor leave us. But God, you said that you would return it back to us. And we believe you and we put a demand on our blessings to come now. In the name of Jesus, we speak it out of the atmosphere, make it tangible, God, that people who have, people who need, that they have need, God, that you've already met that need in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for enlarging our capacity and even enlarging our territory. I thank you, oh God, I thank you for land owning. I don't know where that came from, but God, I thank you for land owning. I thank you that we will be a people that own properties. We will be a people that own businesses. Not what we, we won't always work for man but God we will own the businesses in the name of Jesus so that your name make it the glory I thank you for houses oh God I thank you for apartment buildings I thank you for ownership in the name of Jesus Father I thank you because we're doing it so that you might be glorified I thank you that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and I thank you that we're some righteous people right now that we're reaping a harvest and we're expecting abundance out of these seeds that are being sown. In the name of Jesus, may we always be clothed with your glory. May we never lack for anything, oh God. But may we be prosperous in all of our ways. 
because we're obedient unto you. In the name of Jesus, thank you for jobs and better jobs. Thank you for homes and better homes. Thank you for even blessing our children. Go forth in other generations, oh God. Yeah, thank you that we have enough to provide for the generation to come. In the name of Jesus, and we'll always be so careful to give your name the glory. We won't take any credit of our own. We won't say it's because of our degree. We won't say it's because of our talent. We won't say that we look good. We won't say it's because we knew the right people. But we'll say it's because of you. You get the glory. You get the honor. You get the praise. And all we have to say is thank you. Yes, Lord, I'll show you now. In the name of say, in the name of Jesus, yeah. Thank you for miracles and blessings even being seen from this day. I don't know why I'm praying this, but God, I thank you that somebody has something laid before them even on this day. Somebody has something laid on the altar. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're beginning to rain down that miracle, that miracle that they thought that they were going to lose hope on. I thank you for stirring up the urge again in them to believe on you. In the name of Jesus, show yourself strong. Show yourself strong. Flex on our behalf in the name of Jesus. You can trust us to say it was because of you. You can trust us to lead people back to you. You can trust us. We say thank you. We give your name the glory. All the honor forever in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. who are giving, you can bring your gifts now. For those who are coming to bring your gifts, you can bring cash or check now. Hallelujah. We won't even have time for NY kids to go upstairs for Children's Church. I'm going to be so quick. Gathering, oh, gathering kids. And we bless the Lord. <laughs> now, if y'all just want to go up and pray with the kids, I don't mind. I'm not, I don't, I'm not against y'all going up for a minute and praying, but I'll be very quick. Hello, gathering place. Stand up on your feet for a moment, please. We've had such an awesome encounter in the presence of God already. God has moved so greatly. And I dare not try to out-preach the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands really quickly and worship the Lord right there. If you've received anything in this moment, open your mouth and begin to give him glory. If you've received anything in his presence today, come on, give him glory. I don't hear you open your mouth if you've received, if you believe the Holy Spirit has spoken to you today, begin to bless him all over the room. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. to things being loud. We're going to get loud in a minute, but right there, begin to give him glory. Yes, you Worship there, say, Yet you. Come on, 
I worship the name of Jesus. Come on. Yes, you Lift it up a little louder. Yes, you are. Lift it up. Yes, you are. Worship Jesus, lift your hands and say, yes, you are. Come on, lift it up, man, all over the room. Yes, you are. One more time, we about to go, but lift your voice and cry. Yes, you are. Oh. Yes, you are. One more time, lift it up all over the room. No music. Yes, sure. people under Pastor Trina's instruction started to march around the room. I felt something break. I felt something break in the room and in the hearts of our people. And, I, and for those of you who have been tuned in last week, I shared that I've been meditating on Joshua chapter 1. 
as we're in our transition and now we have fully transitioned the Lord reminded me of when he told Moses and when he told Joshua Moses my servant is dead and now you lead lead my people into the land I promised now the Lord specifically spoke to me while I saw the mar the marching happen that there are people in here that are in transition personally and, and everything you've grown accustomed to is now gone. The things that made you comfortable and the things you held dear have now oh, fallen out of your grasp. And you, some of you have even felt forsaken and even disowned. But I hear the Holy Spirit saying, he's, hey, he's removed the old thing to make you trust in him. You've trusted in that more than you trusted in him before. But I, hey, I speak now and I say that the Lord is shoring up. Hey, he's shoring you up. He's becoming your safety. He's becoming the person that you're going to fall back on. If that's you, can you lift your voice and praise right now? Because the Lord has become your support. I am no longer leaning on them, but I will lead to my own understanding. I, I won't lead to me. I won't lead to what I know, but I'm wholly leaning on him. If that's you, lift your voice and give him praise right there. So as we were marching, as we were marching, the Lord took me to Joshua chapter 6. And in Joshua chapter 6, Verse 1, it says, Now the gates of Jericho were tightly shut up because the people were afraid. No one was out. No one could get out. And no one could get in. But the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given you Jericho, its king, and all its warriors. So before you have it, you have to see it. I want to know if there are any believers in the room that believe in this next season, everything that God's promised you will be in your hand by the end of this year. I don't, I don't know who's going to receive it. Every promise you've been praying for by the end of 2024, by the end of the year of establishment, everything, everything he promised, I'm going to be standing on. Everything I've been praying for is going to be in my hands. If you believe in I day, then give God a praise right now. So as we were marching, as we were marching, I was reminded of how the children of Israel were instructed to march around the wall seven days and not to say a word. They were told to walk around and not say a word. Some of you been walking around in silence. You've had prayers on the wall. You've had prayers on the altar and you haven't told anybody. You just been marching. You've just been walking. But then the Bible says, on the seventh day, God said, march around seven times. And on that seventh time, I want you to shout. And when you shout, every obstacle in your way is gonna fall in front of your face. Some of you have marched long enough. It's time, I, I, thank you for marching around and walking and being obedient. But now it's time to shout. Is there anybody in the room that believes that the power of your shout is gonna break down every obstacle in your way? I dare you to open, I dare you to open your mouth and shout until every obstacle breaks. Open your mouth and shout till every wall falls. 
everything that's been hindering you, from everything that's been stopping you from getting to your promise. This shower's gonna break it up. This shower's gonna break it up. And I'm not too blah 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 If your mouth is closed, you must not want it. If your mouth is closed, you must not believe it. But I need every believer. Every believer. I told that the Bahada. Every believer that believes there's power in your shout. Open your mouth and shout. Listen, after, after they shouted, the wall fell. But after the wall fell, they still had to fight. Many of us stop at the wall falling. And we think that once the wall falls, and once the obstacle falls, there's nothing to fight. And that's why many of us get discouraged because we think, if God, God, if you promised this to me, why do I have to fight for it? If you said this is mine, why after you move the obstacle out of the way, I still gotta fight? But the Holy Spirit told me to tell you today that he's with you in the fight. You're not fighting this battle alone. God's promise to Joshua is that I will be with you as I was with Moses. The promise that he has for you won't come without scars. I know you don't like that. The promise he has for you won't come without a fight, but he promised to be with you while you fight. So my prayer today is for the person that's in the fight. The person that's in the fight now. You thought the battle would be over by now. God, I thought I pleased you. God, God I thought that this promise came from you. Why am I now in another fight? Is this really for me? Because if this is really your promise for me, why am I still fighting? Who's going to be honest and say that's you? Why, why do I still have to fight for this? <laughs> the Lord said... What I am whatever you need me to be while you're fighting. If you're fighting sickness, I am a healer. If you're fighting demonic oppression, I am Jehovah Gabor. I am the one who's fight who fights with you. If you're fighting oh financial difficulty. I am Jehovah Jireh. I am your provider. I am whatever, oh, whatever, who needs something from him. He said, I am whatever you need me to be. If you need peace, I am the prince. Today, as we complete our transition, I want to ensure all of you that although we've transitioned, that doesn't mean our fight is over. 
but we're going to still win. We're still going to take the city. We're still going to save the lost. We're going to save the lost. People still going to be healed. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I don't hear the victorious people. I got the victory before I fight. Oh, y'all don't believe it. Before I even lift my hand, before I even start praying, before I shouted, I already had the victory. Now, thanks be unto God who has given us So because we're all fighting, I can't pray for everybody, but I want us to all stand and we're going to pray together. Whatever it is now, lift your hands and submit it to him. Submit it. Submit it. Give it to him now. Lift it. Lift it. Whatever you're fighting, whatever's on your wall, come on and lift it up now. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him. For he cares. Take a minute to give it to him now. Give it to him. Because after today, the Egyptians you see now, you will never, I don't know who got faith to believe it, what you're fighting now, you will never, the sickness you see now the brokenness you see now you will never Father we thank you <laughs> oh we thank you for you are everything we need everything we could ever ask for you said I am so father in this fight be with us against depression be with us against sickness be with us whatever we head of a Honda Hansaya against brokenness be with us whatever our ailment is whatever our fight is you have promised that you would be with us and you are greater than anything that we could ever have to face so we thank you now for your promise even if I got to fight for it. We thank you for the promise. We thank you for you said you would be with us. I'm stuck there. Thank you for being with us. We will never take your presence for granted. We will never take your support for granted. You are with us and in us. And we're grateful. Father, strengthen these. Strengthen them now as they fight. Even they that are weak. You said, for when we are weak, you are made strong. For your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Father, thank you for showing up strong. Show up strong in our health. Show up strong in our account. Show up strong in our families. Show up strong in our occupations. Show up, hey, 
show up strong in the courtroom in the name of Jesus I come against every negative report in the name of Jesus you are still a healer you are still a healer I don't care what the doctor said you are still a healer I don't care how short the report says we have to live you are still a healer and we declare it now in the name of Jesus we shall live and not die in the name of Jesus I come against every report that says we don't have enough you are the God that supplies all of our needs according to your riches and glory we will always have more than enough because of who you are thank you father thank you for you are the delivering God you are the delivering God I come against every lying tongue that said we will always suffer with the demonic oppression I come against every lying tongue that said we will always have that struggle we will be free we will be free we will be free we will be free you won't surrender to it but in the name of Jesus I declare hey, that we will be free you will not be entangled with that thing for the rest of your life I declare the peace and the freedom of God on your life in the name of Jesus Come against the spirit of grief. Hey, Sotoya. We will not be bound by grief for the rest of our lives. But I decree wholeness now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we will remember, but we won't be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus. We will mourn, but we will not be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, we will be able to stand. We will be able to stand. We will be able to stand. We will be, we st we're standing now, and we shall continue to stand. I come against division in our homes. I come against it now in the name of Jesus. I come against the attack on families. Shut up, devil. We will not lose our homes. We will not lose our marriages. I don't care what we've seen. We will. We will be whole. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And it is so. And it is so. Lift your hands and begin to open your mouth and bless Him. Come against the spirit of loneliness. In the name of Jesus. Come against the spirit of loneliness now. In the name of Jesus, whether you're married or single. You are not alone. He said, Lo, I will be with you even until the end of the earth. I break the back of addiction now. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why I hear this, but there. There's freedom in the room for addiction. There's freedom for in the room for addiction now. If, this, if that's you, you, don't be ashamed. Run up here. Run, run. That's you. Run. You will not. You will not. You will not. You will not be bound by it. You will not be bound by it. Yeah. There's freedom for it now. There's freedom for it now. Devil, you are a defeated foe. You, hey, you will not have these. You will not have these. They shall be free. They shall be free. Oh, I, where, the, where the praying saints at? I need you to open your mouth and give God praise now. Because God is a deliverer. He is a deliverer. Right now, in the name of Jesus, break, break, break.
bound by it. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Hey, be free from it now in the name of by the power of Jesus Christ. I demand that that spirit be broken off of you. This is not to make a public spectacle of anyone, but this is so that we can all pray together. I need everybody to point your hands this way and say, in the name of Jesus, I declare freedom for them, freedom for me, and freedom for my family. Now, if you believe it, open your mouth and give God a praise right there. Freedom for them, freedom for me, and freedom for my family. Let the redeemed of the Lord. I need to open your mouth and shout. Where's Jason? Yes, Lord. Anybody who's not saved, come now. If, that, if you're not saved, you need to give your heart to Christ. Come now. Come now. That's you. Don't be ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Salvation is a beautiful thing. If you need to give your heart to him, there's no condemnation. There's no condemnation. No one can point at you. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But the, the, the love is and the grace is that he gave his own life so that he can have relationship with you. If that's you, come now. If that's you, come now. else come on y'all too quiet come on I see y'all oh Jesus says suffer the children to come unto me don't you hold them back don't you know they are difference makers right now they can be evangelists right now why y'all not shouting Anybody else? Anybody else? You need to give your heart to Jesus. Come now. I see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, hey, so Oh, so oh, the people are getting saved. Why y'all not shouting? Do you know that this is why the Lord came? Do you know this is why Jesus died? Come on, I see you, come on, come on, come on. Gather in place, this is the most exciting part of the service. They get saved, somebody give God a praise for it now. Anybody else? Hey, Kododobasataya. I'm 
I'm not trying to be greedy, but the altar is open for anyone that wants to receive Jesus today. So who came to get saved? Raise your hand. Who came to get saved? You want to get saved? She wants to get saved too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So y'all know I love doing this. I love doing this because I thank God for your tears. I thank God because, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, it's my daughter is getting saved today. There's more coming, come on. Y'all just don't know that the enemy tries to make me believe I'm going to do all this in church and he's going to take my kids from me, but the devil is a liar. Because this don't mean nothing if I can't get my kids saved. How many of you believe that your children are going to be saved? I don't care what the devil's... could have his way, he would have us shout and hear and take our kids from our house, but the devil is a liar, he ain't going to have my children. He ain't going to have my baby. for all of these. Everybody that came to get, come to get saved, I see more. Come up, come up, come up. So, as I'm... As I, as I always share... Just agree with me. That he, hey, the devil lost again. He ain't gonna have my kids. The devil is a liar. And for those of you who are standing in faith for your children, give God a praise because he's gonna save your babies too. The devil is a liar. Our children will be saved. For all of you that came, I share this often, that getting saved is a lot like a wedding ceremony. You come to the altar and you make your confession one to another. Now here's the thing, Jesus already made his. 
he made his confession with blood. He got he came to the altar. That's your name. <laughs> he came to the altar of Calvary and submitted himself as a sacrifice. So now it was your turn to make your confession. It's very simple. The, the Bible says if you believe in your heart that Christ Jesus was raised from the dead and you confess with your mouth, then you'll be saved. It's that simple. So, so I want you all to say, Father God, Everybody in the house say, Father God, I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die for me. I believe that Jesus died for all of my sin. I believe that his blood atoned for every sin I've ever committed or will commit. I also believe that Jesus was buried but I also believe that Jesus rose from the grave and because he rose one day I will rise also I believe that because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ I am saved now if you believe that open your mouth and give God a shout of praise a shout of praise all over the room if you believe that you're saved not because of anything you've done but because of Jesus I've been set free if there's anybody else that made that confession for the first time or you, feel, or you were in a backslidden state, you made that confession, and now you believe you're saved too, or you just got saved too, come up here, run up here. If that's you, come. That, you were you were ashamed to come before. You can come now. If that was you, I see you, I see you. Oh, that's somebody else. Come on, if that was you, come on. Can we give God a shout of praise for these? Y'all so quiet. Do you know that the enemy thought he was going to have them? Do you know that the, what the enemy's plan was for their lives? And he lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He lost thirteen today. Can you give God a praise? Because he lost again. Even that wasn't loud enough. But y'all know this. In heaven, there is a celebration happening just because of you. Just because of you. Don't you ever let anybody make you think you're not loved. Because all of heaven is rejoicing just because of you. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed up. Um, I need all of y'all to follow Cherie. Minister Cherie, she's going to take you and talk to you about what just happened. And I, my, my prayer is that somebody's going to receive the Holy Spirit back in the room. Are oh, y'all not loud? Who, who believe that God's still feeling? join the church does anybody feel led to join the church I know we're crazy I know we look crazy but I guarantee that we just love Jesus here come on come on come on come on I see you come on come on anybody else want to join the gathering place come on why y'all not shouting make some noise Come on, the altar is still open. Woo. 
So guess what? You two are the first two people to officially join the gathering place. Can y'all make some noise? Oh, y'all too quiet. Do you realize what just happened? Oh, I see somebody, somebody. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, come on. So I want to get in on this. Come on. Anybody else? It's not too late. I see you. I see you. Come on, come on. Anybody else? I'm not shutting you off. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, I see you. She said, I'm, this is David's mother. Come on, praise God. Anybody else? The altar is still open. Hallelujah. We are so grateful and excited that you've made this decision to join this house. This was a new thing. We are, we are a submitted people to a new work, but we're still submitted to the same God. And he's doing something great and mighty in our midst. And we're so honored that you've decided to be a part of it. We are not perfect, but we love him. And if you get connected and join in, your life will never be the same. Welcome to the gathering place where everybody can experience the glory of God. Can you make some noise for them? Can you please follow Elder Kathy right there? She's going to walk you the next steps. Come on, make some noise for them, everybody. Stand up on your feet. I just shout, I'm grateful. We haven't done anything to deserve what the Lord does for us. So we're just going to... you best way I know how. <laughs> There's a lot happening. It's, it's all good stuff. God is just moving by his spirit and I, we were making the, de the declarations earlier that we should expect miracles and new happenings and unusual things happening and so sometimes there's going to be times in service where we just don't do the normal thing. And I hope you all are okay with that. But we are a people that believe in yielding to the Holy Spirit. And so things today, and, and honestly, I, I feel like there was an expectation in the room. Now that we've made our transition, we, were, we wanted the Spirit of the Lord to come in and just do whatever he wanted to do. And I think that this is the type of church where we're not programmed people. And I love that. I love the fact that we're not programmed people, but we know how to just yield to the spirit of the Lord. And, and just like I always say, there are things happening in the atmosphere that you may not even understand. You, you, may, you don't even understand the different things and the ways that God is moving even now. But thank you that you're, you're, you're pliable people in which you understand that things flow here a little bit differently. Differently. Um, so we're going to dismiss. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God, for everything that you have done in the midst of your people. Thank you, Lord, that you showed yourself strong.
And thank you for the manifestation of blessings and the manifestation of even your presence being felt in this place. God, I ask that as we leave this place that we don't leave your presence, Lord Jesus. God, walk with us, talk with us all week long, Lord Jesus. Make yourself, make yourself known amongst us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for even a continuation of this sweet spirit being rest and resting upon your people, oh God. Lord, I thank you for your, your, your spirit just inhabiting their 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 bodies and their minds oh god speak a word to them lord jesus give them to know that you are always present with them lord god i thank you lord that I, I thank you for what's going to take place on this week i thank you god that the presence has been set i thank you that the atmosphere has been set the room has been set for your glory to come in and to rest and to abide with us in the name of jesus thank you for your hand of protection upon us bring us back at the appointed time lord Jesus and will forever give your name all the glory and the honor it is yours in Jesus name we pray amen and amen you are dismissed Quick announcement, um, there's a singles ministry table outside, so all the singles, stop by, we got a little gift for y'all, um, I hope to see